I've already gone and marked the ending, the bottom point of my zipper. So to start, I'm going to start at the hem using my pattern seam allowance, stitching up to that, the bottom of the zipper. I'm going to take a couple of back stitches and then now I'm going to change, I'm going to lengthen my stitch length so that it's a basting stitch and stitch all the way to the top. I did go on to my facing or this could be your lining a little bit. And the next thing to do is to press the seam open. For your centered zipper, after you've pressed the seam open on the back side of it, place the center right side down. You'll want to check to make sure that the zipper aligns with the seam as you set it down and then pin that in place. Now that my zipper has been pinned in place, I'm going to start by basting it up on starting at the bottom of the zipper. Now that that side's done, I'm going to go to the other side and do that side. Now that I have my zipper basted in place, I need to remove my basting stitches. Now that my basting stitches have been removed and I can use the zipper, I'm it's time to hand pick the zipper. So to do this, you start at the center bottom of your zipper going up one side and then the other so I'm going to just I want to be so this is where the bottom of my seam is where the opening is so I'm just gonna go down a little bit farther than that And you take little teeny tiny like back stitches. So I'm going back from where I entered. And now I'm going to go forward. So they're really tiny little blue stitches. So you can um, do as many or as few as you like. This is an example of some that I've done before. It's 
kind of hard to see the lime green. Here's the back of the zipper. 